random park in Paris. If someone says Paris, what pops up on your mind? Not a park, right? To be perfectly clear, it's not a video what you should do in Paris, it's a video about what we did in Paris. So the first stop after we had a delicious French breakfast, Garden des Plants, sorry I cannot pronounce it in French, in English it should be Garden of Plants. It's a big botanical garden, also there is a natural history museum alongside. The weather was perfect and it was the time of cherry blossom. The garden is free to enter, at least the park area. You will surely have a nice walk here. raining in Paris. A random street also can feel magical. When the sun is down in Paris, what's the best place to go? Eiffel Tower. Mm, can't say it's the best answer. It's definitely beautiful and breathtaking. It feels like a fine piece of huge jewelry. I was going to talk about the history of Eiffel Tower, but then I realized I have only few clips, where the history is fast similar to the tower. So not today. To regain some of your breath back, where should you go next? Arc de Triomphe. Probably not the best choice of your life. It's also breathtaking. This is probably the most famous monument in France. It honors those who fought and died for France during the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars, with the names of all French victories and the generals inscribed on its inner and outer surface. Under its fault lies the tomb of unknown soldier from the First World War. Well, it's another day, another delicious breakfast, but no clips. And we are near to another nice place, Tuileries Garden. There are a lot of good spots around here. After visiting some, you should chill around Bastin Octagonal. Yeah, 
You are looking at Winston Churchill now. And next to that, Petit Palais, a fine art museum. Why we went there? You guessed it right, it's free. Hold on, it doesn't mean it can't be nice. is definitely an architectural gem. It mostly focuses on French art but also presents works by foreign artists including Italian and Renaissance painting. Also Greek and Roman sculptures are there. You definitely say Poisha Ushul when you were in the garden inside the museum. Wait, you didn't have to pay anything. The evening took us to the Pont Alexander Tree Bridge across the Seine River. And later the OG Mula Gauche. You can get fascinated by the Paris Metro. It is one of the earliest underground rail system ever. Started from 1900s. It is said Paris Metro is a living museum. Another day started with some good breakfast from a local cafe. And from there, the most interesting place to go, the Louvre. From the outer view, it can be assumed it was originally a fortress was built in the late 12th century by the King Philip II. The Louvre became a royal palace before being transformed into a public museum during the French Revolution in 1793. You will see a lot of people are trying to capture the glass design inside their fingertips. Why not think about Louvre, what comes to your mind? Mona Lisa? We'll get to that later. But before, we are going to the Egyptian portion of the Louvre. The thing is, Louvre is so big, you cannot even cover this in one day, I guess. So the best thing is to get a map on the entrance and choose wisely. The Egyptian collection here is one of the most extensive and significant in the world, showing artifacts that spans nearly 5000 years of ancient Egyptian history. Not in Egypt anymore, moving to Greek. And then we are moving to painting and jewelry section. This is Roll in Madonna by Jan van Eyck. We are on the jewelry gallery. This jewelry once belonged to the European royalty and nobility, featuring intricate designs and precious materials. Even if you remove the historical fellow, it is amazing how expensive would these be. more and more people, that means one thing, we are closer to Mona Lisa. And here we are. You have to be on a line to have a glimpse. It was raining and from a window captured it. On the time it felt really nice. 
moving to more and more paintings. You'd love it here. There are all kind of paintings. This is another famous art, the money changer and his wife, created by the Flemish artist Quentin Metzes around 1514. Found this one most beautiful, Allegory of Victory. This one's scary. And this is too realistic with so much details. Fancy looking to the glass architecture from up. After a few good hours, we are out from the Louvre. Well, let me give you some of my opinions about Paris. Even though nobody gives a shit about days, is Paris worth visiting? Definitely yes. Is Paris the most beautiful city in Europe and should be the number one travel destination? Hmm, probably no. Is it too overcrowded? A bit crowded I would say, but not that much overcrowded. Are the locals rude if you don't speak French? Uh, I didn't feel it at all. People are friendly there. And that's the end of this long video. Thank you.